Hey, Eric, uh, I know you felt really good about the last two games, and this one obviously didn't go your way. Do uh, you just give a lot of credit to LSU? Do you think it was you guys weren't playing well? Or what, what do you think happened today? Yeah, certainly have to give LSU credit, um, but we got to get a lot better, Bob. I mean, um, you know, the, the defending the three uh, has been a problem all year. Um, you know, it's our job as coaches to get them to – execute the game plan um you know the game <laughs> we knew that they're a good three-point shooting team um you know baker having a career night nine of 11 four for five i mean those numbers are hard to do when you're in a gym alone um you know so his 25 points and then you know cook's been a starter for him he comes in and and uh, goes seven seven for the foul line and you know so defensively not good offensively not good um you know it's hopeful that we would be able to capitalize off our last two games uh obviously we did not and um you know so yeah disappointed that we weren't able to capitalize from from what we have done the last uh you know 80 minutes of play and and uh you know not a good game for us today and and they got off to such a hot start baker especially you alluded to him what was he doing really well and just how tough was that to overcome when they jump on you like that on the road? Yeah, he did everything well. He made threes. He posted up. He beat us off the dribble. Um, so he, you know, he, he uh, like, I mean, I'm sure it's a career night for him. I don't have his uh, QM stats for his career in front of me, but I would assume that's that's as good a game as he's played his entire career. And then you guys have a, a week off now, halfway kind of, where do you assess where the team is halfway through the league schedule and, is it a good time to get a week off and kind of try to fix some stuff? Well, I'd certainly like to have a, a week off after a win. Um, you know, we got to get better. We got to keep coaching. We got to keep trying to improve. Yeah, I might have a couple more. I'll turn back to Mike if time allows. Thanks. Anthony. Hey, Eric, noticed that uh, Caleb didn't play in that second half. Was that a coach's decision or was it an injury, injury there or what, what kind of happened there? Coach's decision. And then just kind of talking about, uh, you know, defensively, can you just talk about what do you feel LSU kind of did in particular that uh, kind of got them off to that hot start? And how do you guys, I guess, kind of address that going forward? Well, it's defending the three. It's defending the dribble drive. <laughs> I mean, we're not we're not doing either. So, um, you know, if we if we were, we we'd probably have a better record. So, um, you know, it's our job to get players to improve it's our job to get players to um follow the game plan and and um uh, we've not been good defending the three all year um can never compare teams of the past but um we're doing the same drills we just uh execution come game time is is not there but you got a question yeah eric you're really happy about your point guard play after the last game i'm just curious how how would you assess that position this game we got a lot of lot of areas to grow in, for sure. Final question, Bob. Yeah, Eric. I guess it it did look like you guys were progressing. This seems like a, a pretty big step back. Just just how frustrating is that, and kind of how how do you how do you address things now? I mean, the only thing I know, Bob, is to go back and coach. This has been unlike, uh, you know, things that I've experienced. And um, all I know is we get in the gym on Monday and we try to get better. That's that's uh, that's a job of any coach of any sport, and um, you know we got a lot of a lot of spots we got to get better at, a lot on both sides of the ball. I'm squeezing one more. You alluded to this on on the uh, pregame show. You guys had a quick turnaround, two road games. They had a full week, not a real good schedule set up. Was that disappointing that the league uh, set it up like that? And do you think that impacted the game today? Well, seeing how we lost by the margin we did, I'm not going to comment on that. I don't want to get fined or anything, but that um, I alluded to it before the game because I thought that it was uh, semi-important. I think if the game's at three or five, it, you know, I mean, we woke up and, and uh, you know, 7.30 wake-up call, breakfast on the bus, you know, but that's not why we lost. I mean, I'm we lost because LSU completely outplayed us. So no way, shape, or form to, you know, has nothing to do with the results other than the fact that it was a quick turnaround. It was much like an NBA 
uh, situation where you travel, play, travel back home, day and a half, back on the plane. And, and then, I mean, I, actually, it's not like the NBA because I've never had a, a late game and then turn around and play a game at 11 in the morning. I've played games at one or two or three, but not, not 11 in the morning. It has nothing to do with the loss. Sorry, let's go ahead. Last question. Yeah, Eric, Eric, there was a moment in the first half where the, the broadcast caught you and Makai uh, kind of go back and forth a little bit. Was that just kind of a heat of moment thing or kind of what happened there? Yeah, no, I mean, I think Kai's trying to do the right thing, you know, and and uh, Baker was hitting threes and, and uh, you know, it's a five-man defense. If Kai helps on the dribble drive, we need somebody else to stunt for him. So, um, you know, we got to get we got to get better at that. Thanks, Coach.